So tonight I'm going to put the kickstand back on the QT50 and a couple of things that we did here to uh, make it work a little better. Uh, we put a bigger size tire on the QT50 and it was just a little bit too much. Uh, the tire was still touching the ground so I uh, had this uh, three quarter inch uh, rod welded onto the bottom of each one of those and that will give it a little more clearance to get that back tire off the ground. And then up here where it's going to bolt in, the old bolts were completely gone. Um, had a couple just old screws through it, but these new bolts will go through there. Got them, uh, the ends re-threaded there for just slightly bigger. And that's going to go in right there through those uh, holes and go right on the other side. Okay, so I got that center stand on there, and these are just some uh, quarter inch stainless steel bolts going through here. And on the reverse side, uh, there was actually a nut soldered to the outside of the center stand, but I went ahead and put a uh, lock washer and a nut on the outside of it just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere and I did that on both of them and you can see that now the you can see that there's clearance under the back tire again uh, when we put on these 70 90 14 uh, tires it was just enough to make them be on the ground but now there's clearance so that uh, it'll be uh, able to spin again and warm up the engine. Okay, to put the muffler back uh, in the exhaust system, I took out this bolt. I'm taking this one out right now. And then the exhaust system will go up here. Get these two started. Before I get these tightened down all the way. We'll go ahead and get the two up front and I think you can maybe see it's right up here by that finger. So I got those two bolts started. You can see them right here from this angle. And once those are started, I'm going to tighten those in. Tighten these two back down all the way. And that'll get the muffler and the center stand back on.